Hello, hello to our students, families, and counselors who are joining our info session this evening for the New Jersey Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair powered by Strive Scan. Uh, students and families, just a couple of reminders as we get going into our webinar this evening. If you have any questions for our panelists throughout the presentation, uh, go ahead and use that Q&A button right down below and someone will type back to you with a response. Your camera and microphone are off so our panelists can't see or hear you. Also uh, know that there are always sessions offered um, through the New Jersey Association for College Admission Counseling also with StriveScan so um, feel free to look for additional sessions that are coming up this spring. And this recording will be available later at strivescan.com slash New Jersey. So without further ado, I'm going to pass it off to our first presenter from Ohio Wesleyan University. Thank you. My name is uh, Dave Froman. I'm uh, Associate Director of Admission at uh, Ohio Wesleyan University, or, or OWU, as we affectionately refer to ourselves. We're located in uh, really a wonderful college town of 40,000 people. It's uh, Delaware, Ohio, just about uh, a little less than 30 minutes north of Columbus, Ohio, which is the state capital and which is now the 14th largest city in the United States. This is a picture of the east side of campus. We have a very large campus, 200 acre campus. And this is a portion of the east side of, uh, of campus uh, in, uh, in, in Delaware, Ohio. A little bit of demographic information. You can see that uh, we have uh, a little over 1400 students. Uh, we have a average class size 15, student faculty ratio 10 to one. So a lot of personal attention. You see the number of volunteer hours. A little bit more on the OWU connection, which is mentioned here in a little bit. Uh, we have about a third of our students have multiple majors, which uh, is quite a high percentage. And 27% of our students international or, or multicultural, US multicultural with 95% of our graduates in graduate school or with a job within six months of, uh, of graduation. I mentioned the OWU connection. We have small classes, a lot of personal attention, but where we really hang our hat is on the OWU connection, which are all of your out of class experiences. So we're talking internships, research, study abroad, travel learning. And the foundation of the OWU connection are three things below, think big, go global and get real. And in terms of thinking big, interdisciplinary programs like this particular class, we have Amy Downing, who's a, a zoology professor and Craig Jackson, who's a math professor, and they team teach an interdisciplinary class where they look at how mathematical modeling helps to better understand marine ecosystems. And we also have research. We don't have a picture here of the research, but we have a, uh, a lot of opportunities for research, including a summer research program where 12 to 16 students collaborate with faculty members on campus to do research and they do presentations in the fall and doing the research in the summer, they get a significant stipend during the time they're doing that research. Go global, close to uh, three fourths of our students, 70, over 70% either study abroad for a semester or go on a travel learning class. In this particular travel learning class, it's our island biology class. And this is a picture of the class in the Galapagos Islands. And get real, the research experience and also internships and a high percentage of our students do have the internships as well. This is a picture of Tom Dolan in Washington, DC. And he did Wesleyan in Washington and actually led to a job where he now works uh, on the Hill for the House of Representatives. And this is a picture of him uh, in, his, uh, in his work guard. But there are a lot of opportunities in terms of research as well. So think big, go global, get real. That's the foundation for the OWU connection. And you can see here, the OWU connection journeys of a 2019 grad, Eva Blockstein, she majored in zoology with two minors, fine arts and environmental studies. And you can see all of her experiences. She had two travel learning experiences. She had uh, several internships. She wrote a connection grant. She wrote her own grant proposal and got funding for two, di two different research experiences. And she now 
is a field technician at the National Ecological Observatory Network in Fairbanks, Alaska. So all of her experiences led to a great outcome and similar to the type of opportunities you would have as an OU student. The uh, top majors listed here, politics and government, health and human kinetics, zoology, business, psychology, are most popular majors, anything to do with business and econ. Second most popular is actually zoology. So I actually have a nice niche there for uh, people interested in going into things regarding nature, things regarding animals. Uh, we have a number of people to go on to veterinary school as well. We just finished a, uh, we're in the midst of a $60 million residential renewal. Uh, all of our first year students will live in Smith Hall, which is uh, the, the renewal is being completed there. We also will have starting this fall, a new apartment building, which is pictured on the lower portion of the screen. And it will house 120 some seniors. And we also, Branch Ricky Arena was totally redone. There's a picture of that up in the upper right, uh, right hand corner. Important factors we look at for your admission, we're in the common application. But we look at your academic performance first and foremost, your essay, recommendations, your extracurricular activities, and we are fully test optional. The cost uh, this, this year, a little over 62,000, and you can see the breakdown there, but we also give very generous aid and bring the uh, total cost significantly down with the average package over $43,000. The Branch Rickey Opportunity Promise. Branch Rickey is the gentleman on the right there and Jackie Robinson is on the left, but Branch Rickey was the president of the Brooklyn Dodgers and he integrated baseball, signing, signing Jackie Robinson to the Brooklyn Dodgers. Branch Rickey, an OWU graduate, and our top scholarship is named after him. Students with a 3.6 or higher automatically get the $30,000 for the Branch Rickey Scholarship. We also have other scholarship opportunities through art, theater, uh, community service and music. And then we have a Schubert, which is full tuition scholarship and the Wesleyan, which is a $40,000 scholarship. Thanks for uh, joining us this evening, stay connected. There's my name and my email, feel free to be in touch. Best wishes to you throughout the remainder of your school year. Thank you very much. Thank you. We will move on to our next presenter from Seton Hall University. Thank you very much. Well, hi everyone. My name is Sarah Kelly. I'm the Senior Assistant Director of Admission here at Seton Hall University here in New Jersey. And I'm going to skip the slides tonight, but just to talk to you personally on here. Um, and we'll just dive right in. So Seton Hall is a private Catholic liberal arts university located in South Orange, New Jersey, and that's 14 miles from New York City. We have a gorgeous campus that you can see a little bit of it behind me. Um, it's gated, it's very park-like. One of my favorite student comments visiting campus was a student told me this was exactly what I imagined a college campus should look like. And I think with our division one Big East school spirit, I think it's exactly what it should feel like as well. So we, um, just to throw some numbers out at you, we are a school of 6,200 undergraduate students. We have 4,000 graduate students, an average class size of only 21 and a student rate faculty ratio of 14 students to one faculty member. So you're getting a lot of individualized personal attention. We represent all 50 states every single year and 70 foreign countries. And we're really proud of our racial diversity rate at 45%. So Seton Hall divides our over 90 majors into different schools or colleges within our university campus. And I'll give you a quick rundown of what those are. Our number one major um, is actually our School of Diplomacy and International Relations, which is kind of a unique number one. Um, followed by that, we have our Stillman School of Business, which has the AACSB accreditation. We have our School of Communications and the Arts, our School of Education and Human Services, our School of Nursing, our School of Theology, including our Immaculate Conception Seminary for those going into the priesthood as well as our School of Arts and Sciences that houses 
or I'd say more popular majors in that school are psychology, criminal justice, biology, politics, computer science, and creative writing, among many others. We have our own school of health and medical sciences, and these are all direct entry programs. So programs like PA to become a physician's assistant, PT, OT, speech pathology, athletic training. You don't need to wait until you're a junior in college to figure out if you're in these programs. You will be admitted upon um, your admission into Seton Hall, which makes us unique. Um, we have our own medical school with a joint MD program as well as our own law school with several majors you can create a dual degree um, with law with. In addition, what's new at Seton Hall is we have a new partnership with Stevens Institute of Technology in Hoboken, New Jersey, where we're offering a three plus two in physics and engineering. So you'd complete your first three years at Seton Hall in physics and then move on to finish your master's degree at Stevens in engineering. So what makes Seton Hall stand out is we um, have a number five national ranking for return on investment. The opportunities our students receive and the extensive network we have makes us really unique. Um, we have the number one business leadership program in the country. Business Times Magazine ranked us number four in the whole nation for our internship program. We have a top 25 national ranking for our graduates who are getting the highest paying jobs out of college. And we have a 93% admit rate to medical school, which is great as well. Our students have hands-on learning opportunities. So they are doing research with professors. They are presenting at national conferences. They get study abroad opportunities. We have an optional Washington DC semester. We have our own market research center for our business majors, clinical learning labs for our health science and education majors as well as all of the advantages of being right outside of New York. From the time our students come to campus, they are matched with a career counselor in our Career Development Center. And we currently have over 17,000 internship opportunities. 81% of our students complete an internship and everyone has that opportunity. We have over 550 employers visiting Seton Hall every school year to recruit our students and 93% of our graduates um, have meaningful employment within six months of graduation. So in addition to um, all of those things, getting our students ready for transitioning to campus life, we enter all of our freshmen into uh, an award-winning freshman studies program, which is taught by their academic advisor along with a peer mentor, which helps them acclimate to life in college. And to help get our, kid, our students involved, we have over 150 clubs and organizations, 26 Greek organizations, uh, entertainment such as dances, comedians, hypnotists, um, musicians, 14 division one sports, including our basketball team that we're really well known for, we're our Big East Conference, and over 25 club and intramural sports, as well as we have 80% of our freshmen living on campus and about 50% of our entire student body living on campus. Lastly, to apply, um, please come visit us. We are doing in-person tours. So you can get right on our website and sign up to tour our campus in person, Monday through Saturdays. We have early action deadlines, which is non-binding of November 1st. I mean, I'm sorry, yes, November 15th, my apologies, and December 15th, regular admission deadlines of February 1st and March 1st. We are test optional with the exception of two programs. The state of New Jersey requires our education majors to give us test scores, whether it is SAT, ACT, or the teacher's test, which is the praxis. And our joint MD is asking for test scores as well. Other than that, we are fully test optional. And thank you very much everybody for listening in. Thanks so much. We will now move on to our next institution, which is St. Bonaventure. Thank you so much. While I am pulling this up, I guess I'll start with my little introduction. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining in tonight. My name is Daron Wells. I'm an admissions counselor here at St. Bonaventure University. I am also a graduate of the university as well. So I finished my undergrad in 2019 
shortly after started my master's, still here at Bonaventure, and was lucky enough to be offered a position here in the Office of Admissions um, right around that same time. So that kind of leads me into how I want to approach this sort of presentation with you all today. I am going to, for the most part, kind of take off my admissions officer hat and really just talk to you as someone who, who lived the experience somewhat recently. I'm still trying to hold on to my youth. Um, somewhat recently lived the experience that I'm going to be sharing with all of you. So I'm going to do that in my best way to kind of just tell you some real stories that I've experienced during my time at St. Bonaventure. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the university, we're probably about maybe five to seven hours from all of you in New Jersey, but I don't want that to kind of deter you from thinking about St. Bonaventure, just to give you an idea as to who we are. So we're a smaller university, um, just over 2,400 students that you see there in total. Um, we have just shy of 2,000 in undergrad and the rest are on-campus graduate students. What that means is our student to faculty ratio is 12 to one. That gives you the opportunity to really get to know your professors. So example of that, I have cell phone numbers for all of my undergrad professors for the most part. My favorite story is one of my professors really was, was super cool and it's something that you don't see in a lot of schools. So she started off telling us that she didn't have the best Wi-Fi connection at her house. And so we're confused, kind of stressed about what that looks like when we have questions on the weekend. She gave us her home number. I still have it. Um, and actually, she gave me her cell phone number after I graduated and FaceTimed me and kind of congratulated me on grad school and on getting this job. So that 12 to 1 is more than just a number. It's really a, a true connection that you make with the people here. Majors, um, we'll kind of go over a little bit of those, but we have over 50 majors, over 46 minors. Actually, in the last week alone, we've added to our undergraduate programs and our graduate programs across the board. Some of the last numbers I want to point out here, because I want to focus more on, like I said, the, the stories and really what Bonaventure represents. But that 97% is, is really important. So 97% of our graduates are employed or move on to graduate school within six months of graduating. I did both of those things in-house here at Bonaventure, but I have friends who started working the day after graduation. Actually, my roommate had to fly out after commencement and start working in New York City. So I want to kind of tell you that story as well, because I don't want you to think that because we're a, a smaller school in Western New York, that that limits your opportunities. And, and you'll see that a lot throughout this presentation. Some important things I want you all to realize. So we are number two best value in New York State. And you'll, you'll see all those numbers there. I don't have to read them out to you. But what that means is you're getting the most bang for your buck. You're getting one of the best educations that you can, but you're also getting the best social and, and, and professional experience as well. And like I said, you see that in people who fly out to their jobs the, the same day as graduating. You see that in me talking to you here today, but also with our alumni in, in so many different ways, whether it be them coming back to campus to offer internships to students, whether that be them paying for buses like my, they did my junior year for all of the students on campus to go to the NCAA tournament, paying for all the student tickets at the NCAA tournament. Unfortunately, although we're in the NCAA tournament this year with everything going on, that's not an option, but they would, they would have still done it for us. But this kind of value is just making sure that every dollar that you're putting into college and all the effort you put into your academics and all of that is, is really paying out in the end. So here you'll see a, a larger list of some of our academic programs, really goes down to the different schools. So I will say two of our top schools are our School of Sciences and our School of Business. So whether you're interested in accounting, we have a four plus one program, finance, management, any of those that you see here, or if you're interested maybe in the pre-med route, those are a lot of our, our popular options. We have what we call Franciscan Healthcare Program, which kind of falls under a combined degree program. So you'll see that there on the right side where you can pursue an MD, DO, um, if you wanna go to dental school, if you wanna go to pharmacy, PT, all of those are options. And we'll talk a little bit more about how that application process works, but pretty much gives you the opportunity to apply to not only undergrad, but to med school as well, right out of high school. Student life, like I said, this is something I really wanted to talk about. So almost all of our students here at St. Bonaventure are involved with something, personally, me speaking, um, I was involved with probably a little too much, um, at least like 10 clubs at a given time. Um, but that was just me. I wanted to kind of do everything that I could during my time here. But all that we do really kind of shows itself in that freshman to sophomore retention rate. So what that means is how many students we have coming back from their first year to their second year, third to fourth, or if you're like me, fourth to fifth, and then sixth, wrapping up your master's. But Bonaventure truly encourages all of our students to 
really get after it and, and just get as involved as you can or as you would like to be in different things and really make the community what you would like it to be. We are Division One. Our sports teams are Division One. I was lucky enough to run cross country and track my four years here, and it was honestly the best decision I ever made. At Bonaventure, we have that high level of competition, but also taking advantage of that smaller population. So we really treat each other as family. We're not just a school that says, you know what, you have to get out here and perform, but coaches genuinely care about you as a human. So if you're having a rough day, they'll talk to you. I talk to my coach almost every day. Still, I'm like, you know what, I'm coming to your office. I need a breather or, or anything like that. You know, I'm like, classes are kind of getting to me and he's always there. And that's just how everyone is in the department of athletics. I kind of want to wrap it up with kind of how you apply to Bonaventure since I talked a little bit about the why. So we're pretty much rolling admit, which means whenever you're ready to apply, you can submit that. And we'll try to get back to you within two to three weeks with our kind of virtual world. It's been a little faster because we're just staring at our computers all the time. But application requirements right on our website or Common App. We are test optional, so you don't have to submit those if you don't like. If you're thinking about those dual degree programs, you will have to submit those. Other than that, weighted average and pretty much the same as a lot of the other schools you've heard from today and will hear from. After me, we accept AP credits and all of that good stuff. So if you want to kind of know more, feel free to follow us. I'll throw my contact information in the chat. But thank you all for listening to me. Great. Thanks so much. We will now move on to St. John's University. All right. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jonathan. I'm one of the um, admissions counselors at St. John's. What I'm going to do is just get the presentation up and then we'll go from there. Um, so let's just get that started. Great. All right, so St. John's, who are we? What's, um, how's the admissions process work? We're gonna talk all about that this evening. So really before I get any further in the presentation, there's four things that you should know about St. John's and these are the four parts of our mission. So we are a mission-driven university. If you've heard from any other schools, um, you might realize like each school is founded for a different reason and they have like distinctives that make them very unique. So for St. John's, the, really the first part of our mission is that we are a Catholic university. Uh, if you couldn't tell by the name St. John's University, um, we are a Catholic school. You do not need to be Catholic to attend the school. Um, no one's gonna convert you to be a Catholic if you are there. We're also founded by the Vincentian community. So it's a part of the Catholic church that focuses on the teachings of St. Vincent de Paul. And you'll see his uh, picture right there on the screen. St. Vincent is really focused on helping the poor and the marginalized in society. So we take what we're learning in the classroom and we're applying it to the real world. So we're also a metropolitan school. We're in New York. There's a lot of great opportunities in New York City. I'm gonna talk about where our locations are in New York City. But we also recognize New York is a great city. There's a lot of great opportunities outside the New York area as well. And we're actually a global university. So that'll get, what I'm gonna do now is just kind of bring you through where our campus locations are. So just to give you an idea of where exactly in the New York area are we located. Our main campus is in Queens, New York. So we are in the borough of Queens. You'll notice that on the right side of the map there. What I do is I put the New York City subway map up so you get an idea of kind of where in New York City we're located. So that's the main campus on the right side. Then we have another campus on Staten Island, which you'll see kind of on the left corner of the screen there. Um, and then we have a third campus on the lower east side of Manhattan, which is right next to NYU in the Cooper Union area. So it's a really college area of the city. Now we're also a global school. So we operate a campus in Rome and a campus in Paris. And I'm gonna talk about what that experience is like. And then we have a partnership with another university in Limerick, Ireland. So you can study in Ireland as well. It's quite a lot of different places to study. I'm gonna be chatting a little bit more about our main campus in Queens and our Staten Island campus, because that's where our freshmen start. Um, and then I'll also touch on study abroad as well real quick. So just to give you an idea, what does this Queens campus look like? You said you're in New York City. What exactly is campus like? We're actually a traditional college campus in New York. So we're a full gated community. It's about 100 acres in uh, central Queens. You can see the image there. It's a pretty large campus, quite a lot going on, quite a lot of space too. It's not all just concrete and large buildings. So there's a lot of grass and green areas as well, which is a fantastic environment for you. So I mentioned a little bit about the abroad programs. We have our campuses in Rome, our campus in Paris. You could spend a full semester there, or you can do our most popular program, which we call the Western Europe semester. That's where you actually spend five weeks in Rome, five weeks in Paris, and then five weeks in Ireland, all with St. John's throughout the entire time that you're there. So you're never leaving the university. 
Um, scholarship, financial aid, everything travels with you, which is an amazing experience for our students because it makes it very affordable for you. So definitely something to consider um, if you are thinking about studying abroad, being with St. John's, being a global university allows you to have some really great experiences abroad. We uh, just started two new programs about two years ago, which is our Costa Rica semester and our Colombia semester. So if you are interested in maybe studying in Latin America instead of Europe, we also offer those two programs, which is a really cool opportunity for students. So quite a lot going on with places you can study. I'm gonna be bringing us back to New York and talking about some of the opportunities that we have in New York and what that's like on campus. So just to give you an idea, how big is St. John's? Where do students come from? How big are the classes? So if you take all of our undergraduate students, we are almost 17,000 undergrad students. Um, if you take all of our law school students, all of our graduate students, put it together, it's about 21,000 total students at St. John's. So we're a medium, larger medium sized school. With that being said, we have a very small class size. So 17 to one student faculty ratio, what that really translates into is an average class size of about 30 students. So there's no large lecture halls at St. John's. There's no 100, 200 person classrooms at the university. Every class is really capped at about 40 students max. Most of them are gonna be lower than that, which is a really great opportunity for you. And we have students coming from all over the world, all over the United States as well, which is a really cool place to be in New York, just a melting pot of culture, a lot of great experiences for you to, to have. So what kind of other things can I study at St. John's? Well, there's over 100 different programs, all broken up into five different colleges. So you'll see those colleges listed there. You can go on our website and explore all of the different programs that we offer. Um, some of the most popular programs are our pharmacy program, our business program, um, the psychology program, computer science, criminal justice. Those are probably like our top five most popular programs at St. John's. But you can go through the website. I'll put it in the chat as well so you can get an idea of the different programs that we do offer. If you have heard of us, you might have heard of us through sports. Um, just like Seton Hall, we are in the Big East Conference. Um, we're a Division I school. We're very well known for basketball. That's a lot of our claim to fame. You'll see two pictures on the screen here that kind of uh, bring us to our basketball history. We have over 100 years of history with basketball, but you'll see all of our Division I sports listed on the screen here so you can see all the different places that we compete. And I know a lot of students going to college, maybe not necessarily um, <laughs> considering you know, playing at the D1 level, but you still wanna be involved. And we do include club sports and intramural sports for you to get involved with, which is some great opportunities there as well. We can't talk about New York without talking about all the internship opportunities. A lot of great opportunities for you as a student to get some job experience. And that's one of the great benefits of being at a school like St. John's. And I just wanna to touch real quickly on our application process. We are a free application. We don't charge an application fee. We're part of the Common App. And we are a test optional school, just like many schools here. We don't require SAT or ACT, SAT scores. And a lot of other things are optional for you. So we try to make this process as easy as possible. Again, go on our website, explore a little bit more about how that process works. Thanks so much for coming tonight. Um, again, if you have questions, I'll answer those in the chat as well. Thanks a lot. Great, thanks so much. Our next presenter is from St. Thomas Aquinas College. Unmute. Yes, <laughs> then I'm back. Sorry about that. My name is Samuel Augusti from St. Thomas Aquinas College. I'm actually covering for Ryan Gasser. Um, so just a little bit about St. Thomas Aquinas College. We are located in Spark Hill, New York, which is located in Rockland County, um, which is about 30 to 40 minutes away from New York City. Uh, from Jersey, it's about 10 minutes to, uh, away. And then from upstate Monroe, Woodbury Common Area, it is about uh, 40 minutes. So we're known for our location. So a lot of our students do come from different places from either the city, New Jersey, um, or upstate, or even Connecticut and um, Westchester area. We have three major schools on our campus. So we have School of Education, School of Business, and School of Arts and Science. I actually was a student here at Stack, and I just graduated in May. Um, I graduated with a psychology degree, and I minored in criminal justice. So um, everything that I'm saying is not only, you know, what I've learned, but it's I've experienced it as well. Um, our class sizes are, are 13 to one, which a lot of uh, students love because you're able to know your professors and your professors are able to know you. If you have any questions, you're able to uh, 
do you know go to office hours or you're able to go to tutoring one cool thing about tutoring is that um you're not only getting tutored but you're getting tutored by a student that was picked by your professor and you're getting tutored by a student that had that took the same exact class with the same exact professor that you took so you're, you're going to know exactly what your professor is looking for so we in the school of education we have um our programs start from early childhood education and it ends uh with you know different educational studies such as chemistry english math social studies or spanish um let me present that sorry about that um, for School of Business, we have accounting, hospitality, finance, management, and so much more. And, and you could always uh, minor, you could double major, or you could double minor as well. Um, for School of Arts and Science, we have art, art and art therapy, we have psychology, biology, graphic designs, forensic science, medical technology. And um, one cool thing about it, about um, St. Thomas Aquinas College, which is also known as STAC, is that we also offer um, we, we offer a, uh, a programs that you can actually go into. So if you're into uh, nursing, unfortunately, we do not have nursing, but you could go into the biology program. And once you get into the biology realm, you'll, you'll, you would um, take certain courses that you, that you would need to get into the nursing um, program once you graduate. Um, we have different programs here at STAC, but our popular programs is the Aquinas Leaders Program, uh, which is a program for students with learning disabilities. And then we also have our um, Honors Program, which has a requirement of a 3.6 GPA or higher, and an SCT of 1250 and an ACT of 27. Right now, we are test optional. So um, if you do have a GPA um, 3.6 or higher, you would automatically get, uh, qualify for the Honors Program, which you would uh, Get, get a letter from the honors program itself um, containing how to actually go about that program as well. So campus life at Stack. So we're known for our dorms as well. So our dorms are not the typical um, college dorms. We have suite style dorms. Each suite has two rooms and each suite has a common area and a bathroom as well. So this is an example of our room. So um, there's, you can only have, you can have a single, double, or triple. Each a room, each room has three beds, three uh, wardrobe spaces, three closets, and three desks. And every student can bring their own TVs and their own um, refrigerators as well. The common area has a microwave. We have tons of activities here at Stack, such as. Um, different um you know ice cream trucks that come around different food trucks i'm sorry that comes around um throughout the semester and we have different events that happened on our campus as well and of course with social distancing as well uh, we provide career counseling and opportunity events as well so we pro provide a lot of annual job and internship fairs and we also do a lot of uh tons of uh mock interviews as well as uh, an and just for success with professional panels. For sports, we are uh, NCAA Division II. So we have we start from baseball to basketball, from basketball to track and field. And we have our club sport, which is very popular, um, sprint football, which we are planning on hoping can uh, will turn into uh, NCAA Division II. And our newest uh, division, NCAA Division II sport is eSports, which is very popular, which is a video gaming um, sport as well stack is very diverse so we have a great person uh, a great percentage of international students that come in we also have uh as i said earlier we have a great per a percentage of students that come from new jersey the city or upstate new york so our sticker price is around forty nine thousand dollars but a hundred percent of our students never pay the full price so starting from your academic scholarships which ranges from seven thousand to twenty three thousand dollars you will you can you will you can get it all <laughs> and then that um doesn't include your tap and pell grants and when you fill, uh, fill out your fafsa other scholarships that you'd qualify for our admissions process is very simple um all you need is uh, high school, your high school transcript, and you, if you took any college or AP courses, you need that transcript. You need a letter of recommendation from a teacher or guidance counselor, and then we are test optional, so you do not need your SETs or ACTs, and you just need your college essay. We are on the common application, and then we are also, um, you could also apply at www.stac.edu. And just remember, your success is our mission to become the best you ever had. Thank you.
Excellent, thank you. Uh, now on to our sixth presenter for the evening from Suffolk University. Sorry, just sorting up through technical difficulties. Let me share my screen. Oh, good, there you go. All right. And good evening. My name is Evelyn Espitia, and I'm an admission officer at Suffolk University. I'm also a proud Suffolk alum. I'm excited to share a bit about Suffolk with you. One of the most important things to know is that we're located right in the heart of Boston. So this is our campus. It might look spread apart, but you, you're no more than a five to 10 minute walk max from the dorm to your classes. We're the most centrally located university in the Boston area. So the greenery in the picture is the Boston Commons Park. Um, the dome building on the left is the State House. We're right next to the Financial District and the Government Center, um, the Theater District. We even have our own theater right in the Theater District. Um, when Boston sports teams win their championships, they parade right through Charmont Street, which goes to our campus. So as a student, you're immersed within this fantastic culture of arts, entertainment, dining, sports, and real work experience. Um, so our location is really something that adds so much value to your academics and social experiences. Um, so our students, they venture out of the classroom and into the companies, civic organizations, and government offices that surround our campus. So you get some hands-on learning experiences with working professionals. Internships, they form a vital part of your education at Suffolk. And our students are usually just a short walk or tea ride away. So you're able to have a very healthy study internship life. This is just a short list of some of the organizations where Suffolk students have interned. Um, and this is a list of our majors. You'll see we have some pretty unique and interdisciplinary majors like big data and business analytics, um, global and cultural communications. We also have PPE, which is politics, philosophy, and economics. Um, we're considered a mid-sized university. We, um, it does feel much smaller. We don't have any big lecture hall size classes and we don't have any TAs teaching the classes either. The average class size is 21 and that number gets smaller the further you go into your major. You get to know your professors very well. They get to know you very well. Um, you're able to form very strong relationships with them. So at Suffolk, you're able to have the best of all possible worlds, all the resources of a university combined with the opportunities of the city where you'll still be a name instead of a number. Um, and there's lots of ways to get involved. Community engagement is definitely a way of life at Suffolk and students are known for giving back through volunteer work. There's always something going on on campus. We have 19 NCAA teams in all to choose from. So yes, you can still go to school in the city and still play sports. Um, we have a, an athletic facility in East Boston. Um, we also have the Ridgeway Gym, which is right on our campus. If you're interested in playing a sport, I recommend you reach out to our coaches to discuss your options. So let's move on to one of my favorite things about Suffolk, our great diversity. The Suffolk community is made up of people from all around the world, nearly 100 countries and across the US from all different walks of life. So 34% of our students are domestic students of color, and then 19% of our students are international. So it's very, a very, very diverse campus. And that was definitely one of my favorite things about studying at Suffolk was just sitting in a classroom um, with someone from Germany, someone from Indonesia. Uh, we have one of the largest percentages of international students um, in the US. So speaking of that broad world view, we also offer a unique overseas opportunities to our students. We have our own campus in Madrid, Spain. So you could start there your freshman year, or you could do a traditional semester or two or a summer program. If you study international relations, you can actually spend all four years there. I had a friend who wanted to try it out for a semester or two, and I didn't see her for like two years. So it's a very popular program for us. If Spain's not your cup of tea, you know, we have over 50 partner institutions throughout the world. I did a summer abroad in Vichy, France, and it was one of the most memorable experiences in my life. So this is some information about applying to Suffolk. We really do consider all aspects of an application, so not just grades. We want to get a true holistic picture of applicants who are well-rounded and multidimensional. So we were on the Common App, and then we also have a Suffolk web application. It doesn't matter to us which one you use. 
If you're applying to our art school, so that's graphic design, interior design, or fine arts, you do need to submit a portfolio. And we are test optional, so you can choose if you want to submit um, your SAT or not. It's up to you. Um, so applica application deadlines, they're listed here for the fall and the spring. We take applications on a rolling basis. You can also see a sample of our scholarships. There's no um, separate application for that. When you apply, we consider you um, for everything. And you can get the full list on our website. And um, on our website, you can also get um, some calculators where you can plug in some numbers and it'll give you an estimate of what your package might look like. So this concludes my presentation. Um, so these are some ways to keep connected with Suffolk virtually. We offer virtual tours of our campus so you can take either on your own or on a guided tour and you'll be able to see the amazing skyline views that we have from our dorm. Um, thank you so much. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me or ask questions in the chat. Great, thank you so much to all of our presenters for sharing all that information about your schools. We have just about four minutes left, not too much time. So I will invite our uh, presenters to pop on that camera real quick. Uh, I have just one question for everyone to answer here to end our evening. And that is, what is your favorite event or tradition on campus? Or if you're feeling like maybe just a fun fact, that's fine too, but something kind of a little unique about your school. We'll start with Ohio Wesleyan. Thank you, Kara. The, I, I, there's several that I really love, but the uh, number one would be our iCube lectures, Ideas, Insight, and Imagination, where students select in the spring 10 professors to give three minute lectures in the fall and it's live streamed and it's to a packed house and very exciting three minute lectures on an area of particular interest in our professors. The IQ lecture. Very interesting. And Seton Hall. Sure. I think our most unique event is we are the number one school in the country to celebrate Christmas at. And we have um, the only tree in the United States has more lights than our tree, I believe, is the one in Rockefeller Center. Um, we have a giant campus-wide party. Our faculty and administrators show up, all the students are there, and it's just a really fun night before we leave for winter break. All right, and St. Bonaventure. This is a tough one. I would say my favorite tradition though at Bonaventure would have to be something called the candlelight ceremony. So your first day you move in, you do this ceremony where you light candles, you're with your family. And it seems kind of weird at the beginning, but four years later, the night before commencement, you do it again. And so in the beginning, it's kind of welcoming you to the Bonaventure family. And then at the end, welcoming you to the alumni family. So definitely my favorite. Awesome. How about St. John's? So just like Seton Hall, uh, mine revolves around Christmas. It is a great time at St. John's. The lights go on all the trees. We bring in a tree just like Rockefeller Center. Um, and then we have a fireworks show. And that is probably the best part is them shooting off fireworks right in the middle of New York City on our campus. It's incredible. Holiday festiveness in the group. All right, and Suffolk University. Um, so we've been around since 1906, so there's quite a few traditions, um, but one of my favorite is, uh, we call it the celebration of 1913, and that was actually the year that, our, um, that we had our first graduate of color. It was a student from Jamaica, um, and that's just kind of grown into just a big celebration of, um, you know, marginalized students who come from all different um, walks of life, and it's it's always a really good time. I actually participated in it when I was a, um, a student at Suffolk myself. So yeah, as a first generation student. So I'm lots of different fun things. All right, so that is going to end our time here together. Students, just a couple things as you exit out of the webinar. There will be a four question survey that will appear. We really appreciate if you answer those questions for us. Also um, keep checking that New Jersey um, college admissions site for upcoming sessions in the spring. And if you do want to go back to see this recording for more information, strivescan.com slash New Jersey. Thanks everyone so much for a wonderful session and have a nice night. Thanks so much. Bye.